It's Wednesday the 16th of February. The House has been sitting this morning uh, from 9 till 1 dealing with members' business. Uh, we, we lost a, a bit of time late last year to COVID, including some members' time, and we decided that it was important to catch up uh, and, to, and to give members a chance to get their bills into the ballot, uh, into consideration and to, and to deal with them in the House. So um, both select committees have been meeting as well, so quite a few members have been uh, doing effectively double time this morning. On the main sitting today, we'll start at 2 and run till 6, and then again from 7 till 10. Uh, we'll start with questions to ministers, uh, Dr Webb to the Minister of Finance um, asking about this year's budget, uh, the Christopher Luxon to the Prime Minister uh, asking about whether she stands by her uh, statements and priorities, uh, Dr Anai Nehru Leavasa to the Minister of Health uh, about online support for mental health for parents, uh, Simon Bridges to the Minister of Finance uh, about the budget. Uh, the Honourable Eugenie Sage, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, about uh, protection for oceans. Uh, Brooke Van Velden to the Minister for COVID, uh, about whether he stands uh, by all of the government statements and actions. Uh, Teresa Ngobi to the Associate Minister of Housing, uh, about the regulation of property managers. And Nicola Willis to the Minister of Housing, uh, about a March Cabinet Minute. Helen White to the Minister for Economic and Regional Development about support for the Events Centre. Uh, Erica Stanford to the Minister of Immigration asking if he could confirm comments made yesterday. Uh, Shannon Halbert to the Minister of uh, Internal Affairs uh, about investing in uh, protecting archives. Uh, and Simon Watts, the Minister of Local Government about the Three Waters Reform. Uh, after that, we'll, we'll go on to the conclusion of the debate on the Prime Minister's statement. There's, there's just under three hours left, so there's an expectation that we will uh, get through that um, shortly uh, before um, six o'clock when we break for dinner. Um, then there will be a government notice of uh, motion, uh, which won't be debated, which will appoint uh, Nicola Willis, the Deputy Leader of the National Party, uh, is a member of the Intelligence and Security uh, Committee. That's a sort of a special committee of the Parliament uh, which um, is briefed uh, on security matters, uh, especially by the GCSB and the SIS. Uh, and then there's a Government Notice of Motion um, uh, approving uh, COVID-19 orders uh, under the Public Health Response Act 2020. Uh, followed by the committee stages of the uh, Land Transport Clean Vehicles uh, Amendment Bill in the name of Michael Woodhouse, sorry, Michael Wood, um, and again in the name of Michael Wood, uh, the Lands, Land Transport Drug Driving Amendment Bill committee stage, the committee stages of the Crown Pastoral Land Reform Bill in the name of Damien O'Connor, uh, and the Commerce Amendment Bill in the name of the Honourable uh, Dr. David Clark. If we get through all of that, which frankly I think is unlikely, uh, we will go on to the Maritime Powers Bill, uh, the second reading uh, in the name of the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Um, we'll be back here tomorrow at two o'clock. It's likely to be uh, my colleague, the Deputy Speaker, Adrian Rurafe. House will sit from two to five tomorrow.